Oh, oh, uh, inspired by watching Rocky II this afternoon, James decided to uh, challenge Rich to a fist fight in a hastily erected ring. Probably wishing you hadn't, he's taking a right pasting, he's James. If only he could just get one lucky punch in, and oh, that's a good one. He's down, Rich is down. James. Your station. Your station. The all new Cheshire's Silk 106.9. In a world where man is dressed in suits. Nobody's made it. No. Nobody's made it. Singularity of nudity. It's there to be had, people. 2013 budget. If you're a film student right now or something like that, or you're just like playing with film, if, then there you go. If you've what, just been, yeah, if you've just been granted a small loan from the British Film Council to make a small independent film and you're stuck for ideas. You say, oh, I've got the money now, what do I do? I, will I, I, I was just having a laugh we, until now. We will sell this idea lock, stock and barrel just mm. to see singularity of nudity. Sing Hit the screens. Singularity of nudity. Even if it's in a few small independent cinemas like the Corner House in Manchester or somewhere like that, just um, a few screens. It'll gather pace, it'll get a cult following, and next thing you know, it'll be the next um, Armageddon. A gang of brave men decided to shed their clothing. Yep. 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 Welcome back, then. So you got, did you bother with it last week? Oh, we, uh, we tried something, yes, but it was a complete, complete, utter <laughs> desperate failure. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I had the keys to the You Got It vehicle. I know, I did. Yeah. You swine. Uh, it's back again this week with a vengeance. Lesson number one this week comes from Dean. Who? Dean. Dean! Dean! He's a driver van. Dean drives a van. Mm -hmm. Right, Dean. Dean says, Oh, my wife, right? Yeah. Wants me to go and see Sex in the City. Right. Two. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. What, what I'm thinking. Cool lava duck. What I'm thinking, right? Right. Is, it's not very manly, is it, going to see Sex in the City? No, it's not very manly. It's not like going to watch a foot, is it? Not really, no. So, is there any way that we could, like, make it a bit more manly, you know? Yes. Yes. Um, how about, he suggests, mm -hmm. why don't we mix two films together so it makes it something for a woman, something for a man, for example. Why don't we mix it with that film with De Niro in? No. No. Pacino <laughs> in. Pacino in. Yeah. He's right. Scarface. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've done that for you, Dino. No problem. Okay. So what do you call yourself? Eh? Como se llama? Antonio Gonzalo. It's been two years. Happy anniversary. This country, you gotta make the money. Then when you get the money, you get the power. And in two years, amazing things can happen. Heard on the street, Tony, is he not a small time punk anymore? Have we met? I think we need some glamour. One week in Abu Dhabi, all expenses paid for all four of us. Get out of town. My point exactly. They called it Little Havana, where the American dream had a price tag. And only one man in a million was hungry enough to pay. That's a How do you know? The eyes, Chico. That's the boss of the day, okay? I am the boss. That guy's soft. This is the best mirage that I've ever had. What? I'm talking like, I don't know, you come here. Say hello to my little friend! Al Pacino is... Sex and Scarface. In summer yeah. soon. On a somewhat similar note, I also saw the uh, last episode of Friends. Yeah. Should have, you know, the old. I think they all just wander off for coffee, don't they? Last time I thought of Friends. Yeah, yeah. Would have been much better had the lights gone out, a flashbang grenade gone off, the SAS come through and it'll take them all out, and then one of the guys just turns to the camera and says, Job done. And this, this, that's like, it. Why is there walls out? No credits or anything. Screen goes black. But that didn't happen. No. Um, the, the, you know, the. So you Dean. They didn't like it. Dean, that's few. Uh, that's oh, got? Wendy! Wendy? Yes, Wendy and Titherington. Very simple, this one. Loves Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Isn't she great? Isn't she small? It's what it, well, he's weird I uh, met Lulu. These, these, these people who want to see celebrities come a cropper, they always start with, I, I love... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she yeah. loves Lulu, but she says it would be hilarious if, at the beginning of her most popular chart hit, 
Shout. Oh, to sue with love. Well, shout. Yeah, well, where, she, where she really gives it a gives it gusto to oh, begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if she overexerted herself and passed out? Let's see what that She'd would. She'd like to hear that. Let's see what that would sound like. Then shall we run out? Uh, hello, good evening, uh, Dave Chipman and James Lister. Sophie Ace joins us, and, um, well, there you are. I'm here. There you are. What are you doing over there? I'm just chilling. No, no, she's fine it's there. Comfy. Fine there. If that's where zone. she feels more, most relaxed, that's, that's where we should leave her. <coughs> I'm not entirely sure the, the Doberman's going to be particularly pleased by where she's sitting. No, well, for the... Albeit on, on, on his back. Yes. <laughs> but if that's what you want to do, then, uh, that's very, very special nice. understanding <laughs> with that dog. Listen, you've, you you come here uh, week after week and regale us with tales of what you've been up to. I uh, do. In a, in a wonderful, charming story. And mm -hmm. you were only just mentioning before, and I said, save it for air, save it for air. You wanted to tell us a story. Well, here we are now on the, on the air. Here we are now, literally on, on the air. So I think it's about time you can regale us with another one of your charming stories about uh, how you went ice skating. Ice okay. skating, Yes, eh? do tell. That sounds very exciting. This Sunday morning, I woke up yet again. This Sunday morning? This Sunday morning, right. yes. Ten o'clock, woke up bright and early, stretching and looking out of the window. To be fair, it's yet not that again, early. a lovely day, and uh, I was walking out of my bed, and I saw a snooker table in my room. How it got there, I do not know. Maybe it's a present. Maybe the neighbour came in and played some snooker while I was asleep. I don't know. I seek through anything. And then I walked downstairs... And my fish tank, that the fish had died from, sadly passed away, was still there. And three billion fish had arrived in the fish tank. Mm. This must have been a present from God. You never know. So then I was carrying this on walking amazing. downstairs. Three billion fish. Yes. Sent and I was getting God. quite hungry. So I thought that I would have some breakfast. So I decided to eat three billion fish. And also on the plate was actually Nick Arkell's feet. Why would I want to eat Nicole Kell's feet? I don't know. They were tasty. They tasted of cheese. It went with the fish. It tasted quite nice mm, as well. Mmm, fish and cheese. Yes. So I carried on to the kitchen because I thought I would have some more food. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try some Shire horses. They might taste nice with some Nicole Kell's feet and also what an appetite you have. fish. <laughs> I'm very, very hungry today. So I was still trying to get out the door to go ice skating, which wasn't working. Maybe I could have taken Nick Arkell's feet to, uh, to ride with them or something those. like that. And uh, she finally made her way to the ice rink. Who did? Me. Right. <laughs> I did. And Lady Gaga's pet tiger was on the ice doing an arabesque in um, a very high position, flying past the ice rink and uh, also I did see a Charlie Marlowe mask on somebody flying by with their leg in the air which was absolutely crazy and then I decided that I would go home because I was upset about everything that happened today but then on the way home I decided to put Nick Arkell's feet on my feet because mine weren't very good anymore. Well, stop! <laughs> it's great. I'm just particularly concerned about your neighbour letting themselves in and just playing snooker <laughs> around you but uh, no, that's... Uh... Charming story. Thank you. Charming. What a charming young lady you are. You go to finishing school. You should be a lady in waiting. Yes. That's what you should be. What do those ladies wait for? Anyone know? Cement. Yes. Yeah.